What is this? A first generation iPhone have to do with this, a World War I Prussian pilot's badge. Stay tuned and find out. Get ready to blow the dust off. This is History Hunter. History Hunter. We take history seriously, seriously fun, making history 3D, in color, connected. And now, here's your host, Craig Gottlieb. To understand how this fits into human history in a broader sense, beyond World War I, let's take a look at a timeline. December 1903, the Wright brothers fly the Kitty Hawk. That's the first aerial flight, the first time humans took off and flew in the air. Eight years later, October 1911, the first airplane was used in war. And two years after that, pilots' badges were awarded. The Americans made one, Italians made one, and the Germans made one. Fast forward 48 years, April 1961, Yuri Gagarin, Soviet Union, first man in space. That's 48 years. And eight years after that, we put the first man on the moon. So from the time that the very first aerial flight took place to the time we landed humans on the moon was 68 years. Think about it. From a plane made out of paper to a rocket ship flying a quarter million miles to the moon, landing people on the surface, flying them back up into space and making the return trip back to Earth. So let's take a closer look. First of all, this badge weighs in at about, no, exactly 16.2, 16.3 grams. Second, it's constructed of a very flat piece of brass and it's silver plated. Uh, the reason it was stamped from thin brass is because it would be lighter weight, easier for a pilot to wear. The design features a Prussian crown. There is a World War I style plane flying over what is, well, maybe Germany, maybe Belgium, maybe France, who knows. And so what does a Prussian pilot's badge have to do with the very first iPhone? This is a symbol of the very first use of planes in aerial combat, pretty much just after human beings learned to fly. And in 66 years, we went from barely getting off the ground to flying to the moon and back. It's been 16 years since this little thing came out and it's changed the world, right? Well, basically, it's still a phone. It's a heck of a lot better uh, now than it was then, but pretty much not a lot has changed. It's a little bit bigger, it does a lot more, but it's still a phone. So the next time uh, you are marveling at that little microcomputer in your pocket, which incidentally has more computing power than the entire moon module did, think about this. These are both first generation. First iPhone and first pilot's badge. The iPhone's come a long way in 16 years, but compare that to flight. 66 years after men wore this badge, humans left the planet. Makes you think. <laughs>